It's all good. Big Halloween show. You know what's unfortunate? Halloween, you're supposed to go out and you're supposed to dress up, have fun, uh, you know, get some candy. But a lot of people, and you know this is true, a lot of people use Halloween as an excuse to, uh, you know, wreak havoc, uh, vandalize property. Well, guess what? During the commercial break, and this is too bad, someone vandalized the Max Weinberg 7. It's just sad what happened over there. Yeah. It's just not right. And, and you know what? Check out, someone even broke a pumpkin over Mark Pender's head. It's just unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it's these kids that do it. And guess what? It's not even just our show. It's other NBC shows in the building. Check this out. It's too bad. We continue to cover the developments in the election. Both candidates are on the road today covering a lot of the ground. It's not right, and it should stop. All right, other uh, true fact. I'm not making this up. I just noticed this about uh, several hours ago. Uh, I looked down at the script cover for our show, and I saw that today, this is true, it's not only Halloween, it's our 2,666th show here at Late Night. Two, six, six, six. Isn't that creepy? 2666. That's very scary. A Halloween show with 2666. Very scary. Oh indeed. my God, Conan. 2666? It's like some horrible dream. I'm doomed. Doomed. Okay, that's, that's Joel, our announcer. Relax, Joel. 666. It's just a number. It's not the 666 that worries me, it's the two. <laughs> Joel, uh, there's nothing scary about the number two. Oh, stop saying that, Conan. Two has always had frightening and sinister connotation for me. My mother always said I was too stupid. My co-workers have always found me too creepy. And my wife always says that I'm too unappetizing for sex. All right, well, I'm, 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 I'm sorry to hear that, Joel, but I thought we were talking about the number two. That's even worse. I was born with two belly buttons. I've only had two hot meals in the last two months, and I live with two drifters in a two-door Toyota. <laughs> well, well, Joel, just try to get through the show the best you can. No problem. I'll just huff these two gallons of paint thinner and hold my breath for two minutes, causing my brain to stop functioning. <laughs> I'd like to thank the creators of Bugs Bunny for that ending. Uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, Mary Kate Olsen is here. We'll see you in a minute.